Arlo, did you have a good Christmas? You love your present, you do. Oh, you did, it was very exciting, wasn't it? And your present? Well, we did order from Leather for Feathers a harness for Arlo, but it hasn't arrived in time for Christmas, so Santa bought Arlo. Look, let me say, Arlo was very... Arlo was very lucky that Santa came at all this year because what happened? Three days before Christmas, Arlo broke my phone. Not just broke the screen, everything. The LED, gone. It was nothing. So, send it off to Samsung and they were very good. I picked it up yesterday, but I've been without a phone all this time. But anyway, Santa saw that there were, you know, put aside the fact that Arlo broke my phone. She has been a good girl, so Santa bought her this toy. Oh, yes, yes. Bloomy made that toy for Arlo. But the toy that Santa... There you go, Arlo. Bloomy made that for you at kindy. Careful, careful. That's a good girl. But look at what Santa bought Arlo. Beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. There was a lovely sneaker. Look, bottom's gone out of the sneaker. And there was a, what do you call these things? These um, plastic shoe things that people like. They're not clogs, they're something. They've got a name anyway. Well, top's all bitten out of that. But hey, what fun she's had with this toy. So we're eagerly waiting the harness. We're going to do some harness training, Arlo. What do you think about that? Think that's good? <laughs> just, just... I think my phone's out of bounds to you. Um, so anyway, harness training's going to start in the new year and we'll be very excited about that. Right, Arlo? Oh, what's Bloomy got? Oh, what have you got, Bloomy? Hold it up, honey. Yes, Arlo's got some beads, but I think Arlo might share them with you. What do you think? Yeah, I'll give one to Arlo. Give one to Arlo? Um, I just to Arlo. Okay. Well, that's a ribbon. I don't know if you thread the beads on it or not. What do you reckon, Arlo? Did the, have you, do you thread the beads on the ribbon or what do you do with it? Oh, here comes a bead. Yes. Oh, dear. Arlo has never bitten the children before, which is astounding because Arlo does bite other people that come into the house, but I'm always just a little bit cautious of Arlo. That beak's very sharp. Anyway, that's enough talking to you today, Arlo. I'm going to go and play beads with Bloom. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Do we high five? Oh, cold shoulder. High five. No, high five. No, high five. Oh, God.